fifth student at Clarkshaw Magnet School in Mobile, Alabama. I would like to introduce my grandfather, Mr. George Bryant. He is a retired superintendent of the transportation for the Wave Transmit Transit System. Granddaddy, how long were you employed with the Wave? 24 years. I know the name has changed over the years. What was it called in the past? When I first came to the transit system, it was called uh, Mobile Transit Authority. And uh, at that time, it had a board. And the board controlled all the assets to the uh, transit system and bought all the buses. In 1995, the board and the city of Mobile had a falling out. And uh, they abolished the board. So when they abolished the board, they dropped the authority part of the Mobile Transit Authority to just Mobile Transit. And the uh, city took over the transit system at that time. In 2005, uh, the city kind of felt like the transit system needed a makeover. It needed to be rebranded. So they named it the Wave Transit, and that's what it is today. How many buses did they have when you started? When I started, there was 60 buses on the street during peak time. Compare the buses from that time to the present. Were they handicapped accessible, or were they air conditioned? Uh, the buses, when I came there in uh, 89, they were air-conditioned, but they were not uh, uh, ADA um, accessible, uh, uh, American Without Down Disabilities, I mean, American with Disabilities Act, Act they were not. Uh, when the act was passed, uh, they required the transit systems, public transit, transit systems, to uh, make all of their vehicles ADA compliant, which uh, you had to have wheelchair lifts or wheelchair ramps. How many people could each bus hold compared to how many they can hold now? Uh, we have, they have uh, two different size uh, vehicles. Um, one is a 30 footer and one is a 35 foot vehicle. The uh, 30 foot vehicle will hold 29 passengers at one time seated. The uh, 35 foot vehicle will hold uh, 37 passengers at one time seat. Do you have any pictures to share from that time? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, this is a picture basically of a real old bus. Uh, this bus was in use back during the uh, Rosa Park era. And, uh, and that's me standing by the bus. The new buses uh, nowadays uh, are ADA accessible. This particular bus was not. It was, it was not even air conditioned, nor was it power steering. The bus of nowadays are air conditioned, power steering, and ADA accessible. Um, I'll show you some pictures of the uh, current buses a little later on. How were the bus routes determined? Did the routes include the entire city on Mobile? Yes, it did. Um, when we first came, when the buses first started, uh, the entire city of Mobile was uh, 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 brought into brought into play. But as time changed, the buses, the, the routes changed because of where the ridership was. The ridership would move around. So as the ridership moved around and people relocated from from uh, say East Mobile to West Mobile, uh, the routes switched from East Mobile to West Mobile. It followed the population. Do bus drivers always have to wear uniforms? If so, describe describe the uniforms. Uh, the uniform for the Wave Transit has been the same uniform for the last, uh, ever since 1971. It was designed by uh, the uh, rank and file. It's, it, it's really a nice looking uniform. It's probably one of the best uniforms that I've seen uh, in the transit system if it's worn right. Uh, it's uh, navy blue with a blue, dark blue stripe down the side with a uh, light blue shirt. And you have the option of wearing a long sleeve shirt or a short sleeve shirt with it. If you wear a short sleeve shirt, you do not have to wear a tie. But if you wear a long sleeve shirt, you're required to wear a tie. What was your favorite part of working there? The people. Uh, you, 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 you have a lot of camaraderie there. You, you get used to the people, and you begin to like the people, and you begin to like what you're doing. Uh, in my position, it, it wasn't the same thing every day. It was a diff every time you walked into the transit system, it was different, and I loved the challenge.
Thank you, Granddaddy, for letting me interview you. This is, it has been a, a pleasure, Grandson. Thank you. Thank you.